hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing something really cool gel nails are amazing because they don't chip they stay on for weeks and they never fade or lose their glossiness or matteness but if you're on a budget or living that college life like me you can't really afford to always go to the nail salon every two or sometimes i would even like stretch out to three weeks you spend so much money so much time and not to mention but some people are just assholes when they do your nails has anyone had bad experiences because i've had plenty I have saved so much money just by doing my nails at home. These are gel matte nails and I do them from home like in my sweatpants or sometimes with no pants. <laughs> I'll show you everything that I use, everything that I do and even techniques to make things go a little faster and easier. So if you guys do this, send me pictures because I want to see them. All my links are down below but you can send it to me on Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. And all of them are on public all the time. So hope you guys like this. If you do, thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to be part of our YouTube fam that we have going on over here. All right, let's get started. This is DIY matte gel or glossy nails at home. Okay, so here we go. I use the Sensational Gel Kit. You guys, I freaking love this thing. Like, I will never go back to the salon and I will never go back to using like a regular nail polish on my nails ever again. So, as you can see from the side, this is a 10-piece kit and I'll kind of go over and review everything that comes in it so you guys can check it out. All right, so of course you want to start off with clean nails. Make sure you wash them. Make sure you are filing them and then also removing your cuticles. In the kit, it comes with this little, like, uh, to like wooden tool that you can use. Um, I kind of prefer to use something that has like a um, rubber end. It just makes it a lot easier. And then your next step is going to be take this buffer that's included or you can use like whatever you have. Most files have this um, pink like buffer side. So take this and get off the shine or the top layer of your nail. Make sure you're getting all sides and even the end. Okay so your next step is going to be to take this gel cleanser that comes in the packet and also these gel or not gel but these lint free wipes. So I'm going to take some of this gel cleanser and I'm going to put quite a bit onto this lint wipe and wipe down my nails. So it says to let it wait and dry for 15 seconds. So oop, lost my ring. Okay, so moving on. So next up is this gel primer that also comes in the kit. So um, it says for easier removal of the um, gel nails to apply this in like a circle, like only in only on the edges. And then it says to let this dry for 30 seconds before you move on to the next step. All right, so moving on. Next, we're gonna do this gel base and top coat. Now, a gel polish is a lot thicker than regular nail polish, and you only need a little bit. Like, a little bit goes a long way. So you never want to fully go to the cuticle or touch your skin because when you put it into the lamp, it'll burn really bad. So I kind of go right below the cuticle, push up, and then go down. Up, and then go down. Up and then go down and then I do the side side and then the front edge there okay so here's the fun part this light is so cool so with the gel base coat you just need to put your fingers in there for 15 seconds okay so the gel polish is our next step and this is the one that came in the kit the pink chiffon the instructions say to shake it vigorously so you know we gotta give it a good shake all right so remember that gel polish again is super thick so you only need a little bit because a little bit goes a really long way so make sure you are taking off the excess go like around the neck of the bottle if you need to because you really don't need that much and you do not want it to like overflow in your nail bed i use the same technique as i showed you guys before so i will go down go up towards the cuticle but not touching it now this first coat um is going to be really sheer it's supposed to be that way you can do two to three coats i normally do three because i like it really opaque and then again remember make sure you get the sides and also the front edge and if you do mess up and you do get some on your skin or your cuticle, no worries. Just take that little tool and just wipe it away and voila, you are done. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the cool part. <laughs> With gel polish, you place your hand in there for 30 seconds and look how freaking cool this looks. <laughs> look how cool it is. My nails are lighting up. My rings are lighting up. So this does automatically turn off when it's done. Just like that. It has an automatic timer on it so you know exactly when to take it out. It does be put into at 15 seconds for the top and the gel base coat so you know when to take that out. But it will run for a full 30 seconds before it completely shuts off. Alright, first coat. On to coat number two. Same thing, same steps. It's just going to look a lot better and opaque. <laughs> Alright, this is coat number two. This is probably like the most awkwardest part about doing this. 
is doing your thumb like so awkward. All right, here's coat number two. We're not fully done yet, but I just wanted to show you guys the difference between coat one and coat two. Okay, so I like this a lot, but there's still some patchy areas where you can see my actual nail. So I'm gonna do a very light third coat on just some of these, and I'll be right back. All right, so coat number three is done and I already cured it in the light. So now we get to move on and put on the gel and base and top coat one more time. So this is gonna be like your protective layer um, before the step that makes it matte. So make sure you're getting all your edges and covering the nail completely. And again, if you get any on your cuticles or your nails, you can just take this little thing and clean it up. I did that on like every nail on this hand. And then, since this is the base coat, it's gonna go in for 15 seconds. All right guys, the third coat is done and now I'm gonna show you what to do to make these glossy nails matte. So this is what you're gonna need. This is also by the same brand. This is a matte gel top coat. Now this is what goes over top the gel base coat that we just did. So I'm gonna apply this just as I did the other and then cure it in the light for 30 seconds. It's the same kind of um, thick gel texture, so again, a little bit goes a long ways. Same thing goes for this top coat as the other. Make sure you are bringing your brush up to the cuticle and being careful not to touch it and not to touch your skin. But make sure you're getting the sides and also the front edge just as you did the other polish. So I'm gonna do the rest of my nails and then I'll be right back to show you guys the light. So you're probably wondering like why in the heck they still look glossy. That is because you have to take one of these wipes again with that same gel cleanser that we use for our first step. Get some of it on there and watch this. Wipe the entire nail and voila. Perfectly matte gel nails. How simple is that? So easy. They look amazing and honestly, practice makes perfect. The more you do this, the more you'll get used to it and the more you'll get a hang of it and you'll have perfection right at home. And you don't have to go to no bougie ass salons. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys in a few days with my next DIY or style guide or any other video. I guess I'll just have to wait and see what I do. So make sure you subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon. Bye.